on guys welcome back to the channel Chris back here again uh, basically if you can't tell we are in the hatch right now but basically today like right now I'm driving to the car wash I'm gonna wash the hatch for the last time get all like the dirt and grime off so it's easier just for the body shop and everything when they're painting it and then um, we're gonna go to food shop GP Auto we're gonna go over there he's letting us borrow the shop we're going to use all the tools and everything and then we're going to pull the single cam out today and hopefully we have a buyer by the end of the day he'll come and pick it up later that's what he's saying so uh let's go to the car wash real quick we'll wash it up make sure it's all clean and then we'll take it over to the shop pull the swap out and then basically it's already clean and we're going to take it back to the house and get to work I've never done anything like this. Like, I've built a car before, but I've never done inside out everything like crazy. Like, like this is like a full restore. Like, all my dash underneath is gonna get like painted. Just everything. If you've been following the, the videos so long, like so far, you'll know where I'm kind of headed with this, this whole build. All right, guys, so we just made it to the shop. So, here it is. This is basically, I just washed it. And then, uh, this is how it's gonna be. Take out the entire swap real quick. Front end sold. We're gonna post the suspension for sale. Post all the interior up. Got a whole bunch of stuff in here right now. But seats. The whole dash is going to be for sale. Steering wheel for sale. Uh, the door panels I actually have sold already. Um, I think somebody's asking me for the armrest on Instagram, so I'll probably sell that. I got all the rear stuff. I'm going to keep the headliner just because it's so fresh. Let's pop this hood. You see the water dripping from the AC properly how it's supposed to. Well, for this hatch, I have so much stuff already about to like, go into this car. You already know I got the K24 swap. I got the five lug. I got wheels for it. I got a 2000 front for it. I got the Type R headlights. I got the SIR interior. I got basically everything to have a complete car. I got like, new moldings. I got this molding brand new. This molding brand new. I got all this new, all these rubber pieces. I got all this new. It's all gonna be put on. I got different mirrors. I got the whole visors. I got this little rubber piece new. Wiper cow new. Little nozzles new. It's just, there's gonna be so much stuff. Like, Put the, the hatch from the other one on. Uh, we'll put the 2000 bumper, 2000 tail lights. We got the JDM, the moldings. But, yeah, I kind of can't wait to see how this comes out. But this is the end of the single cam stock factory OEM life. It's just so clean. 86k. And, uh, yeah. Let's start pulling it out. All right, so we just basically get started here. However, I'm gonna leave the whole harness with it and everything, so I decided to start over here first. And then just kind of. Disconnected the ECU. I just kind of pull all the connectors through. But yeah, I'm just gonna figure it out as I go here, and then I'm gonna keep updating you as I go. 
but right now that's where I started. My gloves are ripped already. But uh, let's keep going from the top, then I'll pick it up from the bottom, drain the coolant, we'll get rid of the AC, and then uh, we'll figure it all out. There should be good money here though. Kind of excited to do this now. But yeah, see how dirty it is down there. We'll clean that all up. basically from underneath. I was just working on this rear T bracket back there. I don't know if you can see it. Just working on that. The exhaust is out. The automatic shifter cable is out. Um, this car is pretty fucking clean underneath though. Like, I've seen way worse. Like, this car is clean. And then like, I'll, under I'll clean all this and undercoat it once I'm once I get there, but all the suspensions for sale, like the rear drums, this whole arm, everything's gonna be for sale. If you need stock, fuel lines, brake lines, I won't be dropping the gas tank just to paint underneath it. I'll be taking all this out so you guys can have that if you need it. Um, yeah, let's drop it down. I'll show you guys the top real quick here. It's been about, I had a few distractions, but it's 3.11, I started at 12, so I'm at like three hours into this. Had a few distractions. Um, basically, I feel like the motor's ready to go. Yeah, T-brackets like loose, like I took out all the bolts, but it's just kind of chilling there. So hopefully that doesn't fuck me up. But uh, right now I'm gonna lower it. I got a Harbor Freight dolly here for $24. I'm gonna lower the trans and the engine onto that. I'll, I'll unbolt the, the mounts up top, and then uh, hopefully with the lift here, we could just pick the lift up and the motor and trans stays on this fucking thing. But we'll see how that works. I'm, I'm here by myself, so. Everything's disconnected. Just gotta take out this mount and then that mount, the torque mounts are out, rear mounts out. Everything's unplugged. This should come down with it. And uh, yeah, I think it's ready. So let's just keep lowering it onto my pallet.
bay is uh, an engine bay now, not a running, driving car anymore. We drove it over here, now we gotta get a ride home. But, yeah, put in some work today. A dolly is killing it too. All the stuff that kinda like goes with it. We got the air box and all the stuff. We got the mounts, axles. Yeah, she's here, she's done. While I was working on the hatch today, this is my daily. I had a tow truck driver come in, back into me. The whole quarter is just kind of dented and smashed. So, uh, damn, the car's clean otherwise. I mean, it's dirty right now, but damn. All right, so the car is back home. Basically, she is artless, I guess you could say. But uh, the new heart over here. Will look perfect in there. But before we do all that, we gotta take that subframe out, put a DG subframe in. I got a brake line top, we're gonna get rid of all the brake lines. We got custom fuel lines, so we're not going to use any of that stuff. I got some fuel lines in the hatch. I kept this because basically this whole side was hit before, so I lost all my AC stuff over there in that corner. So I wanted to keep all the AC lines, keep everything original. But yeah, everything is good here, good money. Can't wait to get rid of all this stuff. And once we get rid of all this stuff, put the 2000 front with the headlights on. I got. We're making progress, but uh, I can't wait to see how this comes out. All right, so basically I'm all showered up and changing everything, but we're coming to like, just the beginning of Grimace to EK. Like I'm building this whole hatch, K24. We're gonna paint it, probably inside and out. We're gonna, we gotta wait for the painter. Um, the interior's for sale. Those, the four by 100 wheels are for sale. 4x100 like brakes, the drums in the back. I can sell my brake lines, I can sell basically anything on this car except for the doors and the actual car. I'm gonna keep all the glass, I'm gonna keep everything. Just wait till you guys see it. Just keep following the videos, you'll see my step by step process on how to basically kind of do everything. I'll show you how to put a K24 in an EK, everything. But make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Stay tuned for the next videos because this is going to be crazy and crazy and crazy and crazy. Keep going until this car is done. But, yeah. Thank you for watching.